here. Let's see, um, so we left off with the tank, and now it's robot badge, which is a special achievement badge for building robots. And here's Robo Bird. I think everyone already knows about Robo Bird. And then the Eggbot. So here's the <coughs> original Eggbot, which has a um, fiberglass chassis and stepper motors and a servo motor for pen arm lift and fits objects up to about small grapefruit, down to about ping pong ball. What was the hardest thing to make on the egg pot? Hmm. Maybe the software. <laughs> well... Yeah, okay, the software, but as far as the hardware goes, the hardest part was the bushing for the uh, tail coupler, where we have a free-spinning uh, part that follows the motion of the motor, but on the opposite side of the egg. So there's a, a dowel pin here um, that goes through a couple of bushings in the chassis and holds the object in with a, a spring. So figuring out how to make the hole sizes just right to fit the bushing just right so that we had exactly the right amount of friction and not too much slop was a little bit tricky. And finding the right kind of bushing that you could put in without having to glue it in place, but it would just snap in place, was also a little tricky. And then the next one. So this is the ostrich egg bot, which fits from about a chicken egg up to about a peewee football. <coughs> Um, and it's an ostrich egg. Oh, it's an ostrich egg, right. Uh, it's, it's made of um, CNC cut uh, plywood and um, what else to say about that? Got some laser parts too. Uh, yeah, so it's first it's CNC cut on, on the shop bot that we're sitting on and then um, engraved using the laser cutter for the Calibration markings, um, informational markings about placements and warnings. Stepper motors may be hot. Sweet. And so all those parts are cut by a CNC, which is actually what we're sitting on right now. Um, yeah, the main chassis parts are, and then some of the pin arm parts are actually laser cut as well. Um, the, the pen holder here and some of the other parts. Cool. Yeah. Yesterday we actually uh, worked on some of the uh, cutting out the parts. These two. Yeah. The yeah. arm parts that are uh, made of half inch plywood. Yeah. So, yeah, robots, robots on top of robots on top of robots. Um. Let's see, does anyone else have robots to share or, oh my gosh, um, so let's check back in on the uh, number bot, drawing bot, oh that's the video. Okay, so it looks oh. like he's, I think he's drawn at least the first three, of uh, his first three numbers, he's, we're looking at the pendulum below. I know, um, okay, it looks like, wait, let's turn it. So it selects the digit and then it rolls the, the, the stepper motor up top, shows you what it's selected. And I know he said one of the, his second stepper motor was like freaking out, but it looks like 635 if he's done picking. Oh, I wonder if his video is reversed. Yeah, 635. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, do we okay, get so to... Okay, so I'm looking these up. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, do we get to know who actually won now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the first winner that was picked was a gentleman by the name of Manfred Schwab. Uh, the second winner, which was picked by Robots Freak, Robot Freaks Machine, 
And that would have been, hang on, where is that? That would have been uh, Olaf Shetler. Yeah. Olaf Shetler will be in contact with you. Uh, the third winner uh, is Birdman. Yay, These are uh, usernames on Let's Make Robots. Woohoo! Uh, the fourth winner would have been, let's see, Robot Freak's second pick. Yeah. Pick two, and that would have been um, someone, I, I have just their email address, so they may have been a donor who was not an, a Let's Make Robots member, uh, yeah. but their name. Um, their, their email name is Alberts, and I won't give the domain for privacy, but we'll be in touch with Al, with that person. Cool. Um, and then the fifth winner would have been, is the last, let's see, that would be um, 635. Let me just look that number up. Oh, boy, Hang the on. last winner. Excitement, excitement, 635. 635. That's 635 Octal. I've got a whole chart I've got to translate things from. 635. 65. Here it is. It is. Ah. Uh, I believe this. It says uh, the email name is Nickel Daniel, and I believe who that is is uh, LMR user Dan M. Oh, who, boy. Uh, who joined a while back. Yay. He's a he's a really really experienced, great guy. He shared a lot of uh, excellent knowledge uh, since he's joined. So. Those are our winners. We also had some alternates that we're going to pick, but if this is dragging on a bit, we can kind of pick those offline. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Or yeah, the alternates are only in case, you know, like in case somebody decides they don't want the prize or if we just can't reach them after 30 days or something like that, we'll, we'll give them to the alternate. Wow. Cool. Well, five lucky winners have been picked finally. And I guess the one of the cool parts is that uh, we're all really winners in a way because it was helping out the uh, Let's Make Robots site. So now we get a better website to share all our robots and uh, goof around on and everything. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So so we we did raise. I, I don't. Fritz is an on, and it's very very late where in Europe. So and also Mills um, is. Uh, you know, he's here from, coming in from Switzerland, so it's well after 2.30 a.m. there. Yes. And um, Nils, um, if you want to uh, drop off and get some sleep, <laughs> that's uh, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you've picked uh, all, all 10 of your numbers and, and get me the, the numbers of the last uh, the last folks uh, so that we have the alternates just in case we need them. Uh, I would want to. I do want to say thanks to everybody who donated. Um, no matter how much you donated, uh, you know you had a, a chance at, at winning. And, and obvi obviously, you know the best part of uh, of donating is, is helping out a, a great community. So thank you everyone for your contributions. Yeah, and thanks to Nils for making that really cool robot. Except I don't think he's here anymore, so he can't even hear that. But he will in the recording, so, um, yeah, wow, cool. All right, let's see, what other robots are here? Bot Thoughts. Do you have a robot? There's a monster truck. I do indeed, I have data, yeah, I have data bus here in the background. Data bus. Oh, cool. Hang on one second. So Databus, aptly named as you can see, is uh, a, com a contestant in the 2012 SparkFun ABC Autonomous Vehicle Competition. Cool. And uh, it is a 110th RC car, which is equipped with, um, let's see if I can put this in front of the camera. It is equipped with, get <laughs> with me. Uh, an embed microcontroller, which is uh, an ARM uh, Cortex M3, and it has a gyro. Uh, it has GPS and some other sensors, uh, odometers and whatnot. 
uh, which I am struggling desperately to fuse together so I can actually have it drive on its own and not crash into walls. <laughs> and I would assume the walls. So that is data are, bus. I would assume the walls there are pretty much made out of concrete, right? Not anything. Yeah, pretty like, much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So what is? So it did. It did a great job of crashing into walls last year uh, in, in April 2011. Hopefully this year I'll actually make it around the first corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can you describe to everyone who doesn't know what exactly is the AVC? Sure, yeah. The uh, SparkFun.com puts on an annual uh, autonomous vehicle competition. It's open to ground vehicles and air vehicles. And uh, for, the, for both, they have to circumnavigate the building on their own with no intervention whatsoever. Um, so the ground vehicles have to drive around avoid, avoiding curbs and actually avoiding other robots too because they, uh, they start five robots at a time at the starting line for each heat. So, uh, and if that wasn't hard enough already, they also have giant red barrels in the way that uh, the robots have to avoid too. So. It's, it's somewhat difficult. <laughs> cool. So uh, what's your robot's uh, main strategy? Is it just to use uh, GPS or uh, what, what do you Well, uh, <laughs> that's still in development. <laughs> Uh, what I've got right now is um, I, I've, I've done a lot of research on the different sensors and, and their different types of error and that kind of stuff. Boils down to I've had to kind of boot all of the sensors except for GPS and gyro. Um, I'm actually getting fairly decent results out of that. The only problem right now, um, I'm using a Kalman filter to fuse both of those uh, for heading and then an odometer. Uh, on each wheel to provide distance and it computes where it is based on how far it's gone and what direction it went in. Problem is, is the GPS lags by about a second behind reality, so I kind of have to deal with that problem too. And I'm going to be spending a lot of hours tonight trying to figure that out before Saturday. And the reason Saturday is important is because I'm having a whole bunch of friends over to see if my, my robot works or not. Um, so I'm going to do a big demo and probably make an idiot of myself, but, uh, you know, hey, it's all fun. <laughs> wow. That's uh, good luck on your demo, and I hope you get the uh, lag issue figured out, or at least come up Thanks. with a solution. Uh, are, are you going to make a video of it actually working tomorrow, or the weekend? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I've got big plans. I've got one of those, uh, I don't know, if, let's see, I have it right here. You've probably seen these little gum stick cameras. Um, so I'm going to stick this thing on the bus uh, while it's driving around, and I'm also planning on having a couple RC cars out there as chase vehicles with cameras strapped to them. And then also uh, taking some video with you know phones and whatnot. So multiple angles and dramatic no uh, music and all kinds of good stuff. I'll post that up on my uh, on my website. And uh, I also have to do a video because SparkFun needs a video by June first, or else I don't get to play with all the other robots. So. Oh, nice. So what's your website so everyone can check it out? It is bot-thoughts.com. Cool. I'm sure lots of people will be uh, going to it now to make sure they'll see the video. Um, okay, so we have almost 10 minutes left, so it's sort of going to be a rapid round now. Um, thanks for sharing your robot with us, Bot Thoughts. And up sure. next, let's see here.